What well, is up people YouTube, it is I, Super Mario Zilla, or you could call me Vinny, and today we are taking a look at the Marvel Legends Captain Britain, which is one of the best figures in the whole wave, to be perfectly honest. And, well, you know why you're here, let's not waste any more time and take a look at the figure. I will not go into much detail with the sculpt since uh, this actually uses most of the Hyperion body mold. You guys know that the sculpt on that Hyperion mold is just plain awful. But it does have a fair share of new parts, which I will go into detail about, and for the most part the paint job hides the horrible sculpt. First you look at the head sculpt, and as you can see, it looks good, and unfortunately, if you look at the mask sockets, some red is bleeding through the black. I know you can't see it very well, but trust me, there's red bleeding through. Ugh. But thankfully, the rest of the paint apps look really good, uh, and on the helmet, it's just fine. Moving down to the uh, body, as you can see, the sculpt is horrible, but thankfully the paint job hides it. With a red paint app, a white paint app, and a metallic blue paint app, which looks awesome. Moving down to the arms, the shoulder piece is cleanly painted, thankfully, and the blue and black paint app continue, and one of the new parts of the sculpt is the forearm, which looks good. Moving down to the legs, they are sausagey, the metallic blue paint app continues, it transitions into a white, and again, looks good. And move it down to the boots, they actually... Oh, oh wow, they actually painted the buckles. That's sh shocking from Hasbro. They usually d don't do that stuff. Huh. But still, the sculpt is... So, some new, the new parts look good, but the rest of the sculpt looks yuck. Just yuck. But the paint apps thankfully hides it. So, sculpt the paint apps. Sculpt is horrible, but the paint job hides that horrible sculpt, and all the new parts we got, they're pretty good. So, I will let this figure pass. If you see my Venom review, you will know what the articulation is like. Head can move up that high, can, can move it down that far, can swivel, slight pivot, arms can move out that far, biceps can swivel, double jointed elbows, Get more than 90 degrees, so that's good. And hinged wrists, although it is a bit limited due to the sculpt. But it's not really too much of a big deal, honestly. Ab crunch can move that far forward. Ab crunch can move that far back. The range is good. <laughs> no complaints there. Waist can swivel. The belt will not get in the way, so don't worry about that. Legs can move that far forward. Can move that far back. And we get the splits. For such a bulky guy, that's sad. Because Spider-Man can't, can't even do that. Thighs can swivel. Double jointed knees. There's no boot swivel, but we do have the ankle hinge. Not the best range due, due to the sculpt. It actually limits it, but you know, it, it's not bad. And of course we got the ankle rocker, which again is kind of limited due to, due to sculpt. Well, actually, actually uh, I take it back. Uh, no, no, it's not. It has, it has the same amount of range. So, like I said with, with Venom, with, in his review, articulation is not bad, and well, like I said before, it does save the sculpt, because he looks good when, when you pose him. And, you know, all the more reason why this figure is actually a decent one. A good one, actually. Moving on to the height, it is just under 7 inches, so he's a bit taller than your usual Marvel Legends. Here he is compared to some other Marvel Legends figures, and other figures from other figure lines. No accessories with this guy. Enough said. Well, honestly, we really don't need accessories. 
he, he's fine uh, as he is. So, what is the final verdict on the Marvel Legends Captain Britain? Sculpt is awful. Paint job hides the sculpt. Thankfully. Because paint job is really good. I won't lie. Articulation is, is also pretty good too. Not gonna lie. And sizing? Well, he's bigger than the average uh, legend. So, yeah. Um, I wouldn't really dwell on the accessories. He really do doesn't need any. I mean, I really don't know what you can include with him, honestly. But that being said, I actually recommend this figure. Just like with Eel, he's he's pretty good. There's a certain charm to it, and something about it just works. Maybe it's the paint job, maybe, maybe it's some of the new parts of the sculpt. Maybe it's the articulation, but who knows. I do recommend this figure if you're a Hasbro fan, or a Legends fan, or a Captain Britain fan. Yeah. With that being said, I am Super Mario Zilla, and I am out. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and comment. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.